and I just see Carl then Coach Ward is thinking, and he's like, oh, I, like, I know he wants the friend to be cut up a certain way, and that just helps me, like, be close to the place. What about the safety room in general? It seems like a lot more depth there compared to a season ago. Uh, just how do you feel like the room is, is coming together in the, in the spring? Um, I feel like it's coming along well. I mean, everybody's learning. Everybody's learning the defense very well, you know. And one thing about our, um, our safety room, we're very competitive, but we, we're competitive in a good way. We want to see everybody win, you know. We never want to see somebody just go out there, make a mistake and stuff like that. So once we come out the sideline, hey, you messed up on this, you messed up on that. So that's just going to get the person next to us better. And then overall, as a, as a whole, we're going to be great. Coach Kenny said you got some dog in you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like to say I do. <laughs> where, does that, where did that come from? <laughs> um, it just, really just where I came from. It just, I mean, all my life, a lot of people like doubted me. So, I mean. It, it feels a lot better when you can prove them wrong than just, you know. So I just felt like, yeah. How'd that doubt fuel you to be better? Uh, it just made me keep going. Like, you know, you know, every day is not going to be your day. So it's just like, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I should be one of the best DBs coming out. You know what I'm saying? But I can't, I can't just act like that. I had to prove that, you know, and next come out here working hard every day, get my teammates ready and just getting prepared for the season. How much of that too is just having to go JUCO and then having to go to a smaller school yes, to, to like, earn a shot to play at this level? Yeah, it, like like my story, like my story is me, you know, because I had to come from from the bottom, still had to stay stay at the bottom and just work my way to the top and just to get where I am now. So it's just like like when kids see me, I just want them to be like like you can do it yourself. Does it make you appreciate where you are now even more? I'm sorry if I jumped in here. Like, oh, yes, definitely. Like, like I mean, Arizona, I came from a small town from Clay County, Alabama. Like, like we're just thousands of people we're just in my area. So it's just just this every day. Like, I be FaceTiming my brothers back at home. That Like, they be they be wanting to come come and just see this, just <laughs> just witness this. So I just, just for them, I, I, I have to, like, just show that I'm very appreciative to everyone. Did they come out to visit you? No, nah, they, they haven't. I wish they would. But you know, Alabama, that, that's a long way and stuff like that. So, you know, they have other things going on back at home. But I, I really I really do wish they would just come see see Arizona. What do you like most about out here? What's what's been the most fun thing or have you picked up any new hobbies or no, um I think I, th I just like the weather, you know what I'm saying? Cuz like Alabama right now, it might be cold, it might be not, but you know what you what you're going to get out here in Arizona. I, I I just I hate when it's summertime though. That's the only time. But other than that, I love Arizona. How do you feel your mentality is kind of grown as a leader coming in, coming in with the uh, being doubted throughout your career? Um, I mean, I, I feel like it changed changed a lot because like you can ask anybody here. Like when I first came in here, I didn't talk much. Like I'm like I'm making checks, but like I'm whispering check calls and stuff like that. But now when you see me, everybody's saying what's up to me I'm saying what's up back and I'm just just being more of a vocal leader than what I was last year who 